Hey, this is Jeremy from Northern Kentucky, and you are watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. Good morning, everybody. Some of you have been watching this channel long enough to remember this truck. This is my old Freightliner. This is a big week, because this week, tomorrow in specific, I'm delivering this truck to a buyer who bought it off me. I have the tires off of here right now. I gotta put the tires back on here, but uh, sold the truck. So I've gotta get, get everything back on here. Like I said, I had the tires off of here because I had uh, exchanged the rubber, remember? And then it was winter time and they couldn't get the tires back on here because this was all covered in snow. So I told them I'll put the tires back on myself in spring. So spring has come and gone and now summer is here. So I gotta get these tires back on here and uh, get this thing going, get a temporary permit to drive this thing about 30 miles down the road or I think it's about 30, 60 miles, something like that. And uh, say goodbye to it. A lot of good memories made in this truck. The moose bumper is what's really valuable on here. I paid about $5,000 for that herd bumper. And I think that's what they're most interested in. But uh, hey, they're taking the whole thing. So I gotta get these wheels back on here. And say goodbye to her. So I thought I'd be more sad seeing that thing go. But you know what? I'm actually relieved, a little happy, and uh, ready to move on. I mean, I've got my Volvo now. Gonna have that thing paid off in well, about a year, I think. I wanna get another couple of trucks, hire a couple of people to start running for me. And uh, that truck has seen its day. It's, uh, it's done its part in this world. It's time to move on to newer, newer trucks. See, I got the tires just lined up right here. So I've got to go to my dad's shop right now in Steinbeck and uh, get the tools I need because I don't have the proper impact wrench and heavy jacks to get these things on the truck and uh, torque, torque wrench. But I'll get them on there. And then I deliver it tomorrow. So today is just getting it ready, trying to get that thing running. Tomorrow's the big day. Well, we got dad's tools, everything we'll need. This is mainly the thing we'll need. And the jack, I don't think I'll need to jack them up too far, but I'll need to get them off of the, well, the, they use stumps for stands, the guys who did it for me. So I'll have to get them off of that. But hopefully this will be enough. Ugh, dad's gonna be home later tonight. So if I can't get it going, he's gonna come give me a hand. And uh, check this out. Just noticed this today. Not good, not good. I'm gonna have to get that fixed right away. Otherwise that's gonna spread quickly. Hey Chef, hey Diesel. You guys gonna help me? Are you gonna help me? All right, so got everything I need here. I'm hoping that this jack will be enough. Three ton weight, up to 6,000 pounds. All I needed to do is to lift up like one wheel at a time. Like, I think it'll be fine. Then I got the impact wrench here and everything else that I need. Battery booster to get this thing running. It seems like the uh, stumps that this thing is sitting on sort of collapsed. I really don't like it. This was our tire guys that left it. See, there's another one up there. Left it here like this and never came back. So now I've got to deal with this and fix it and get the tires back on here. This side's going to be a little harder because it's so low to the ground here now. But, I mean, we'll do what we can. we got the mobile generator over there that's going to power our battery charger and our air compressor. Let's get the wheels back on this thing. Let's get it running. Say goodbye to it tomorrow.
Ready? Please don't pay. Come here. You're supposed to be helping me. Houston, we have a problem. This is the hose I need to use for the impact wrench. It is too big for my connection on my air compressor. So I need to go back to dad's shop and get one of these that will fit this. Goody. I really wish KK Penner would have put the tires back on and not just left them because of snow. That was their excuse for not putting them back on. Oh, there's too much snow. We couldn't get to the truck. Fine, I guess I'll take care of it then, but I don't have all the tools I need here. Dad has them over at his shop. It's a little bit of a drive yet. So off we go to get more parts and more tools. Really wish I had my own arsenal of tools already. Well, we're back. Dad's paradise. <laughs> Every tool known to man is in here somewhere. What do you think? Organized chaos. I've never seen so many Chef Boyer decans utilized for things. He's very useful. Yeah. Look at this. Anything and everything you need. And a little bit more. Or a little, lot more. A little bit of excess. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking for the fittings. Shades here for now. This is dad's truck. He has it parked in here. Him and mom are on a trip up north right now on a mission strip. Doing some missionary work. And we need a fitting like this here. And we have one like this. So we need this one. I think Dad said I could just take that one. All this fuss. Just for this little guy here. A little quarter inch end on there. Hopefully that'll work. I'll hook that onto my little hose at home. This hooks onto that. That puts the tires on. We can do this. All right, boys. I think I got all the right tools this time. We'll see. Okay, so not this. Got Dad's other jack along here too, just in case. Okay, so this we need to connect onto the end of my hose. This is Dad's half inch hose and I have a quarter inch hose here uh there we go <clears throat> see just take this piece off and then put that piece on bada bing bada boom we're in business there we go I mean we'll give her the good test and see if she'll hold air but I think we're good to go I think we're in business not too shabby eh let's attach this Under here. All right, let's see what happens. Let's turn her on. So, unplug this for now. Plug this in. This generator running. And choke it. And come on. Power already. Plug 
this in here. One-handed, how about that, eh? I might be mistaken for someone who knows what they're doing. Look at this, look at this whole setup here, look at this. Oh no, I'm I'm hearing air leaking out of here. You hear that? Yeah, it's not. I don't know if that's gonna work. Shoot! I'm not sealing up properly. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's let the air pressure build up. Okay, so when it's not connected to this thing. There's no air leaking out of here. Okay, so it's not this that's leaking, it's that. Uh, shoot, here, let me put you down here, come on. What is... Oh, but if I hold it in here... Ah, so it's just uh, not a good connection. <laughs> I don't think it's enough to turn this thing, though. Shoot. Oh, oh! Oh, no. My air compressor might not be good enough for this. Shoot. Shoot! Man, it is going a little bit. That's not gonna do much. Oh boy. It is a big gun. Might have run into problem number two already. I had to bring in the professional. <laughs> Dad showed up with his bigger tools, bigger, better tools, and more knowledge. And he just pulls up here while I was working on it. I didn't even know they were coming. He just showed up and gonna make sure it's done real good. Well, Chevy, it's another day. So uh, we worked late into the evening yesterday getting all those tires back on the truck, but I uh, haven't been able to get it started yet. The batteries are completely dead. So we got a tow truck coming. I'm gonna pull this thing out of here and bring it to the parts yard. It's kind of sad to see it go, <clears throat> kind of bittersweet, but uh, I got no more use for it. It's not good for the road anymore. I can't sell it to someone who's going to use it on the road. It's it's seen its days. It's got two and a half, over two and a half million kilometers on it. Oh boy, these mosquitoes are bad out here. But it's time for her to go. So I got a decent price for it. I'm going to have to foot the bill to tow it there, but it's only like 30 miles down the road, so it's not that bad at all. And we'll say goodbye to her, my first truck. He's here, hooking up. Pull me on out of here. Just gotta get my specialty plate off the corner here. I want to keep that. Bye bye Freightliner. So I've got the passenger seat in here yet and the bumper looks like I'm not going to be able to close my tunnel cover with this thing in here but it's okay it's designed to be up like this for short periods of time. I don't really like driving down the road like that but what can you do? I'm gonna have to tie it in here so it doesn't go flying out of here because I can't get my tailgate down either. Or pardon me, can't get the tailgate up. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's kind of sad to see it all go, but I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. And there we go. Set and ready to rock. I'm not going too far. Like I said, it's like 30 miles down the road. So, oh, I should put these, uh, these up on here. We want Make sure that this doesn't shake more than it has to. Like that, screw that on there. We'll do the same on the other side and that'll hold that up there. It's got little cushions back there so it shouldn't damage the truck. 
There we go. Well, we just got home and uh, first time driving in here with an empty space. Look at this. I just gotta clean up all my garbage now. <laughs> all the garbage I pulled out of that truck. It's all sitting on the ground over there. Gotta bring my charger that's busted and my generator that's not busted back into the garage. And uh, yeah, look at this. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? I'm not even sad to see it go, I'm glad. Not sad, glad. It's been long enough, you know. I don't know what else I was gonna do with it. I can't put it back on the road. It's no good to me here. It's just sitting here rusting away. At least now I sold it to the, the, the guy there at the truck parts store and truck parts store, truck parts yard. And uh, he'll be able to make something of it. You know, they'll take it apart, sell it piece by piece. and <sighs> So that's that. The Freightliner went to the graveyard. And I'm actually pretty happy about it. One less thing on our yard, one less eyesore on our yard. Look at this. Instead of that old rusting truck being here, that, ignore that garbage there, that is there. Yep. I'm just gonna clean that up right now. So now that we've sold the truck finally, it's time to celebrate. Got a fire going out here. She made that by herself. Like five minutes ago. What a woman. <laughs> and this is a little bit of a, have you guys ever tried Crown Royal Apple? If you see it on the shelf, grab a bottle and try it with some 7-Up or Sprite. It's like apple juice. It's really good, dangerously good. Be careful with it. Don't go overboard. Know your limits. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like bonfire here now. What you doing? You coming in here? Yep. Have anything to say to the good people of the YouTubes? No. Anything at all? Frankie, do you have anything to say? Anything at all? Nothing. Well, you guys are boring. We're in, in our own little world. Yeah. yeah. I offered to, just so you guys know. I offered to clean it. She said, no, no, no. No, no, baby. I'm going to do it. With a southern accent, too. Exactly, apparently. yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm. It's a big steak. So you guys may have seen my Facebook post. I think I posted it on Facebook. Uh, every good steak is like every good man. Has a little fat on them. Good. That's good. That's really good. Oh, so, uh, what are you gonna eat? Got a bag of salad inside. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. I turned down the temperature quite a bit. Yeah, we should cook it on low. Yeah. Don't let me overcook them this time. I was embarrassed last time. <laughs> Chevy. Good boy. You stay here. He's a big boy now. He gets to sit on the big boy chair. That was my chair, but I actually like that chair better. So you can have this chair because you're a big boy. Two years old now, buddy. Good boy. Let's check these things out. Check them out. You guys ready for this? You guys ready? You're not ready for it. You ready for it? I've been watching them with everyone. Yeah. We've been watching them. Yeah. She gave me strict orders when she went inside to watch the steaks. Yep. Sure did. And uh, I brought you all into this, so it is all of our responsibility to watch the steaks right now. Absolutely. I think we did good. No, oh, Chevy, you got off your big boy chair? Okay, a little bits at a time. Little bits at a time. I understand. Nice it's a bit stuff. intimidating. Tough when you're a puppy, or two. Mm -hmm. He's two years old. He's a big boy now. Hi, I'm Corey. I'm here in Venerwatu, hoping you enjoyed this episode of Trucker Josh Vlogs.